Now to more questions being asked once again about Joe Biden and what his continuing presence as US president means for us here in the UK and the rest of the world. At a time when he's under huge pressure and growing pressures to pull out of the presidential race, he made arguably his worst ever mistake last night. And forgivably, he called Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky President Putin. I'm joined now by Jimmy's reporter, Charlie Peters. Charlie, he had an absolute stinker. And that was the first of two gaffes, because later on in a, in a press conference, seen by many as a pivotal moment in this extraordinary week for President Biden, he referred to his vice president, Kamala Harris, as Vice President Trump. And as that happened, the cameras from the press there at this press conference observing uh, his, his secretary of state, Antony Blinken, his defense secretary, Lloyd Austin, and also the national security advisor, Jake Sullivan, Two of them looked very concerned, Lloyd Austin kind of staring straight on, but you could feel the sense of shame and actually a, a slight tinge of embarrassment watching on as that happened. And as I said, this is a pivotal week because since June the 27th, when Biden faced Trump in that so-called no-holds-barred debate, it didn't go well for Biden. Since then, his support from several Democrats has collapsed. His pollings have been pretty drastically poor, and we're now seeing public statements from congressional Democrats urging Biden to not run again in 2024 in the upcoming November election. 20 congressional Democrats have called on him publicly to step down. We also understand that former President Barack Obama and the former Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, are having private conversations where they are revealing that they don't believe that Biden has what it takes to beat Trump. And at the same time, veteran congressional Democrat staffers from both the Obama and the previous Clinton administrations are said to be running a unofficial unelect the president committee. Hourly updates from them speaking to donors, speaking to key leaders in this potential race as for the first time this week, Kamala Harris, his VP, has overtaken him in the prediction on who might be the next Democratic nominee from August looking into that November election. George Peters' excellent summary of a nightmare night for Joe Biden. Now, I'm now jo joined by Errol Moorcock, big pardon, who's a spokesperson for Republicans overseas. Eric, welcome to the show. Always a pleasure to have your company, Errol, beg your pardon. So it was a nightmare night, an absolute nightmare night for Joe Biden. Nobody can deny that. The question is, how long can the charade roll on? Well, it seems quite uh, possible to roll on all the way until November. If you, you keep in mind that this is the only job that Joe Biden and the Biden family have. So the concept that he's going to back down is 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 not going to really play. Now, does do we have congressional calls for him to step down? Yes. Do we have the Senate uniting to do that? No. So I, I don't think that we're going to lose Joe Biden as a candidate. I mean, it would be nice if he had as much composure and sense as, as Mr. Ollie Watkins, who I just watched uh, in his press conference. But we don't have that kind of a president. We have somebody who's at this point almost a national security liability. Keep in mind, about half a million people have died on the Ukrainian side of this war. And to have him not even respect the fact that they're fighting against Putin and not Zelensky. I mean, these are gaffes, I understand. But but they send a message. They send a message of, of lack of confidence. And that's a message that's going to be doubled down on. The, uh, the press secretary, the White House, these people would have no other recourse for having having a job if it wasn't for Joe Biden. If Joe Biden is removed, a different political party inside the Democrat Party would take over. And so because of that, I think we're going to see Joe Biden all the way to the conclusion of of this election. Uh, and, and that's a terrible thing for him, for for our country and for the Democrat Party, who I'm obviously rooting against. Now, I'm happy that we're going to be going up against Joe Biden. I don't think that they're going to be able to switch him out. The only possible chance is Vice President Harris, not Vice President Trump, of course. Um, she she does have an ability to step in there. I don't think it's going to happen. And I think we're going to be really stuck with this. So, OK, we have to leave it there. We'll be out of time. Thank you very much. Errol Moore, coach.